Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is going to be a hairstyling one, hence this. A lot of questions about styling short hair. I think I cut my hair off like well over a year ago now um, and I absolutely love it. People are always really daunted by the thought of styling short hair so I'm literally the worst at hair as well so if I can do it I feel like literally anyone can. I'm very happy to be working with Tangle Tees on today's video. They're a brand that I absolutely adore. A couple of their products that I'm going to be using and showing you today. Current brush that I've been using every day for about a year so very grateful for some nice new clean ones so funny because you can kind of see like all the different hair colors i've had like sometimes i find like a pink hair in here i'm like ooh. <laughs> so i'm just be doing my very simple everyday hair look actually not too far off this but just like a more refined polished version of this wash my hair really quick and then i'll come back and we'll get into styling ooh. i'm just gonna start towel drying my hair lightly um just to get some of the excess water out my hair literally holds water forever Taking the wet detangler brush, this is literally a lifesaver, especially for my hair. I've got very naturally frizzy, quite curly to wavy hair. This just glides through your hair. My mum always says she wishes they had these when I was younger because I'll leave a picture of my hair when I was little here, you're literally gonna die. I just scream and cry getting my hair brushed because I don't know if you remember like old brushes, they used to just like get stuck and where my hair was like so dense, it just used to get stuck and I used to hate it so much. Um, so these just glide through your hair, really good for wet or fragile hair. Obviously the last few years I've been on like a bit of a hair kind of journey. I think I've had every colour hair possible, I've bleached the life out of it. And now I'm kind of back at a point where this is definitely the healthiest my hair's been in a long time. So more cautious now of like what I use on my hair, the products I use, the styling routine I have. Um, I just want to minimise the damage as much as possible. So that kind of goes for brushes as well. Just brushing out any tangles and making sure it's nice and smooth. I feel amazing, like I'm literally the neediest person in the world and I always make people brush my hair and these just feel so good, especially when they're new as well and like the teeth are really sharp. Mm, this is all so nice. Start brushing my hair into like the general position it's meant to be in. I'm just going to really rough dry my hair quick. I like to blow dry it when it's probably half dry, like 50% dry if that makes sense. It's too wet, like I said my hair just holds water for ages so it's just too wet to like do anything with for a while so I normally have to just like rough dry it and get into like a general shape and then start blow drying. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously I'm not going to talk while I do this because it's going to be very loud. So I'm going to turn this down for your, the sake of your hearing. So I'm just going to rough dry my hair and then we'll start styling it. So now my hair is semi dry, I'm going to take the new Easy Dry and Go brush. Um, I really love this, it has like a thumb holder, it's really comfy to hold. This is specifically designed for blow drying, it's got these vents through here, so you're getting like constant airflow to the hair. Again, like all the Tangle Teaser products, it has these beautiful teeth, these are really good for removing excess water, so amazing for blow drying. I've used this a couple of times and it's really good for getting rid of frizz. It's naturally very frizzy, so being able to achieve a really sleek finish without having to straighten it is really important, as I was saying. Kind of want to minimise heat use. Um, I never have my hair dryer on the hottest, especially when blow drying. I feel like you don't need to. Um, it's more just like creating the shape of the hair so it doesn't need to be super hot. It's minimising damage using products that are really great for your hair. Best thing ever. Start off with my fringe and I'm going to kind of push the brush almost like this and blow dry it just to get that really nice curve. My fringe cut a little bit shorter so I quite like when it kind of sits away from my face at the moment. It kind of frames it quite nicely. When I get to the roots I almost use the brush kind of like the opposite way. So like this and then blow drying that way just so you get like maximum volume at the roots so yeah let's dry my hair I start my fringe and the roots because they're where it tends to dry the quickest for my hair and then i kind of sort the ends out after that so Yeah, so my fringe and my roots are dry, still got loads of volume, but you can see there's literally no frizz on the top, which is insane. Like normally my hair will just be crazy everywhere. Take the brush and almost kind of blow dry it down and then curve it in. Um, I really like when I get that cute little kind of curve at the bottom. I think that looks really cute with short hair as well. Which is really good for smoothing while still creating volume. I think because of like the curved shape of it here, it's really easy to use to create that shape. So yeah, let's do that.
literally love how that dried. To be able to control the frizz, a really nice shiny polished finish, but I still want to let my hair do its thing, um, and I feel like that just dried it perfectly like that. I think where you're getting the constant airflow through the vents, that dried so quickly, that took me six minutes to dry my hair. And it normally will take me like 20 minutes, especially if I'm like blow drying it and like thinking about the shapes that I'm getting it in. So that definitely makes a massive difference. It's shiny as well, I don't know if you can see, there's like barely any frizz on the top and normally that would just be like crazy. I feel like in this light as well, you would see all of it. Um, my hair looks super shiny, it looks really healthy. And it was really easy to flick the ends of it. Super shiny, frizz free, beautiful, easy hair. I think using this in different directions, like I drive my fringe up and then my roots opposite way and back, um, it just gives you so much volume. It looks super thick, healthy, but still very shiny. It's a more polished, put together version of how my hair looked at the start, so yeah. If that is my very simple everyday hair. I'll show you my hair up close just so you can see like how shiny it looks. Ooh. There we go, that is the finished hair look. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I feel like this is like a really simple way to style short hair, but it still has a little bit of pizzazz about it. Massive thank you to Tangle Tees for working me on today's video. I absolutely love you, and that brush is amazing. You're saving my hair and making me feel glam. Links to all the products that I've used in today's video in the description box, as well as Tangle Tees' website, so everything you need will be down there. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you for being here as always. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day, and I will see you all very soon. Love you.